In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to host your own Node-RED instance in the cloud. The first thing you need to do is to go to ibm.com backslash cloud and click on sign up for IBM Cloud. Now you have to enter your email address and then I'm able to enter a password of my choosing. And press next. At this point, you'll receive a verification code, a seven-digit ver verification code to your email. You'll have to copy that code and paste it here and click Next. Now that I entered my personal information, I can click the button Create Account. So now I'm logged into my IBM Cloud account, and what I can do is I can go ahead and create a resource. So what is a resource? A resource is something you want to host or you want to put on your IBM Cloud. In this case, we want to look for Node-RED. So I'm going to go and type Node-RED in the search bar. And here I see the Node-RED app. Now I can enter the information for my Node-RED application. I have to give it a name. So what I'm going to go for is Node-RED for OS teaching. Remember that you can't use special characters here. And from the region, I'm going to go and choose London. If you live in Europe, I'd uh, recommend that you go for London. If you live elsewhere, then choose the location or the region closer to your physical location. And the pricing plan is Lite, which is the free plan for IBM Cloud. And then I click Create. At this point, it will take a little bit of time to generate the code and the repo for your newly created application. After that time elapses, let's say maybe a couple of minutes, then you will see this button, Deploy Your App, where you'll have to click Deploy Your App. Very important. Once you start deploying your app, it's incredibly important that you choose the Cloud Foundry, Foundry Deployment Target option. Why? Because this is the one available within the Light Plan. So with this option, you'll be able to proceed entirely for free. Uh, in order to control the repo, to be able to access the repo, you need to create an API key. So all you need to do is to click the, on, on the new button and then just leave everything as is. Just press OK and it will create a cloud API key for you. Now that the API key is created for you, which you can see by clicking on the eye icon, it's just a, like a long password. Now enter 256 if it's not already there for the amount of memory you want to allocate for your instance. 256 megabytes is the maximum amount of memory you can allocate to your instance in the light plan or in the free plan. Now choose the same location that you chose before, in my case is London. Wait for the organization and the space fields to be populated and now you can choose your domain. This domain is the location where your URL will be hosted. So this is how you'll be accessing your cloud Node-RED instance. I'm going to choose the first one and I'm going to click Next. Now I'll have to change the region to the same region that I chose earlier and click the button Create. Now my app has been created and is going to take a little bit of time to configure the tool chain and to configure the the, the continuous delivery process for, for it to be deployed whenever I make a change into the repo. So I'll have to wait. This is likely going to take a couple of minutes. Giving you a little bit of heads up here, since this is the most time consuming step of this procedure, it's normal if you see in progress going on for a little bit of time. Expect to wait for up to three minutes, up to 10 minutes until the status is successful and until you have your app URL appearing in this field right here. If you did everything correctly, then after some time, you'll have success in the status field in your deployment, in your deployment section of your application page. The app URL might not appear yet, but that's just simply a glitch. All you need to do is just to refresh the page. Something went wrong during the network request. I think that's another glitch. So now that it's refreshing, if everything went correctly, I should be having my application URL through which I can access my deployed Node-RED instance.
And here we go. Now I finally have my application URL, which I can use to access my cloud Node-RID instance. Now comes the really exciting part, the part of configuring your newly deployed Node-RID instance on the IBM cloud. So let's go down and click next. Now you're gonna enter a username and a password of your choosing, and you're gonna make sure to check the box, allow anyone to view the editor, but not make any changes. Why is that? So that I can also check the sketches or check the data flows that you made, and just in case, be able to grade your work. So let's click next. From this point on, let's click next. Finish the installation. You don't need to know much about that. It's just telling you what it's doing in the background to do the work. Now we're gonna click finish. Now you can go to the Node-RID Flow Editor, and here you go. Now you have your personal Node-RID instance running on the IBM Cloud, which you can interact with. If I try to go to the right pane and click on the Debug Messages button, which looks like a little bug, and I try to execute this Inject Node, for example, then I'm going to be encountering an error. And the reason for that is that even though you can see the, the, the Node-RID flow, you are not yet logged in and hence you're not allowed to interact with this flow yet. And this is the part which we mentioned, the part of securing your Node-RID instance. So in order for you to be able to fool around or play with Node-RID or your own Node-RID instance, then you'll have to go to this icon right here, click on log in and use the same credentials that you entered when you secured your remote or your cloud Node-RID instance. Once you log in, then not only that you'll be able to execute things in the sketch, like for example, click on the inject node and see the outcome or the output in the debug node, but also you'll be able to make changes. Like for example, here I can change this. And I click done, I deploy, and the, the updated functionality will be there.